Hello and welcome to New Hope for today. My name is Pastor Andrew Heiss, and I'm the pastor at New Hope Friends Church in Goldsboro, North Carolina. You know, many people have defined thankfulness as a feeling or an expression of gratitude or gratefulness for a benefit that is received. Now, I don't think that is all that thankfulness is. There's a lot more uh, think that thankfulness entails. But if you think about the main way that you express thankfulness in your life, it normally is tied to a benefit that is received. Think about the times that you say the words thank you or thanks or write a thank you card. Normally, it's because somebody else took their time to do something for you that was beneficial to you. Maybe give you a gift or, or for instance, in our society, you may be out in, in public and someone holds the door open for you. That's something they took their time out to do for you. And so your natural response is to say thank you. We do the same thing in traffic. We try to express our gratitude when someone allows us to, to get over into their lane and we try to wave at them or blink our lights in some way. And I think that for all of us, we feel very frustrated when other people do not express their thankfulness to us for something that we do for them. For instance, if we were to hold the door open for someone else, and they just walk through like we're not even there, like that's our job, like they're supposed to have the door open for them. We get so frustrated, and I know I do. It's almost like they feel they're entitled to that benefit. And I think that is the opposite and and why we don't express our thanks. It, It has to do with entitlement. When we feel we're entitled to certain things, like a certain benefit or a certain service, then we're not going to be grateful or thankful for that. You know, one of the ways that we express gratitude in our culture and our society is by giving tips. Tips are a main way that waiters and waitresses make their living. And so when we go into a restaurant and we sit down and our waiter and waitress takes care of us, gets our drinks, does all those things, we then show our gratitude for that service, for that benefit, by tipping that person. And here's the thing. I think a lot of us feel that we're entitled to a certain level of service. And when we don't receive that service, sometimes we won't even give a tip. Now, I think that's a very poor way to be. But when we tie our our thankfulness only to benefits, then we can become, when we feel entitled to that benefit, we can become very ungrateful. And I think we do this all the time with God's benefits. We we overlook the fact that we don't deserve any of them. And if we were to really think about all the things that God has done to benefit us, I mean, that he's, he's created us. He's given us the very breath that we breathe. We've get, we get to live another day. He's given us salvation through Jesus Christ because of his shed blood. He's given us so many benefits. And yet, I think we get so used to the things that God does that we forget and we we become entitled to them. One person that wasn't entitled was, was the psalmist when he wrote Psalm 145. And he knew that many times we should tie our thankfulness to the benefits. But if we were to think about the benefits of God, we would never stop saying thank you. Think about this. It says, I will extol you, my God and my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is is unsearchable. One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds and I will declare your greatness. They shall pour forth your fame, uh, the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and his mercy is over all that he has made. 
All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your saints shall bless you. You see, he talks about how we should always and every single day be thanking God for the benefits that he's done for us. Today, have you overlooked the things that God has done for you? And have you said today, thank you. Thank you, God, for giving me another day. Thank you, God, for the things that you've blessed me with. Thank you, God, for saving my soul. Have you expressed your gratitude to God today for his benefits? Or are you so entitled and feel like you deserve them that you're not even willing to give thanks? I pray that today you would give thanks to your God and join with all of his works and saints in giving him praise. New Hope for Today is a daily video devotional brought to you by Pastor Andrew Heiss of New Hope Friends Church. New Hope Friends Church is located at 4451 U.S. Highway 70 East in Goldsboro, North Carolina. New Hope for Today. Strength for today. Hope for tomorrow.